What is up guys, Sahab Man back with a review. Today we are taking a look at the brand new, super excited for this, NECA Toys Halloween 3 Season of the Witch 3 pack. Now I picked this up from Nora, the NECA lady, also known as at best in collectibles. If you guys ever head over to her booth at Frankincense, make sure you guys let her know Seha Man sent you. So this is something that's been a long time coming ever since they announced that I've been wanting to pick up. Long story short, when this, when I saw this movie as a kid, wasn't a fan of it. Only reason why was because Michael Myers wasn't in it. But as I got older, I grew to love this third film from the Halloween franchise. Now, okay, so this is a slipcover, okay? So we come to the back of this, and you have the silver shamrock novelties right here on the back, the logo. And then on the bottom, it says, inside, three posable action figures, each with interchangeable heads and hands. Featured accessories include music, television, excuse, includes television with lenticular effect and trick-or-treat bags. On the side, you have all three character masks on the side of the packaging, which I actually think that's that's just awesome and then again like i said this is a slip cover so we open this up or slide it out and then you have all three of the figures here which is awesome i mean this is a set that is selling out so if you have a chance to get this Make sure you get it, guys. And like I said, the price that Nora's selling this for is probably the best price you're going to find anywhere. All right, so you got the three figures, and you have all of the accessories there. Uh, the bottom of the package, it does read NECA Real Toys, Universal on the top. Nothing really there. On the back, this is just awesome. This is something that's out of like a cutout of a magazine. You have the Jack-O-Lantern. It's like a little catalog. Jack-O-Lantern. Startle your friends with a lifelike Jack-O-Lantern disguise. High-quality, realistic latex. Skeleton. The grinning bone-colored skull with... Hori, um, well, Hori, with horrify, you will horrify your neighborhood high quality real latex mask. And then Witch, cast a spell with Halloween, a grotesque green nightmare high quality realistic latex mask. And this is cool too. I can't read. Um, so over here it says trick or treat, only $39.95, only $31.95. So it has the prices on here, which is super cool. And then you have, you know, you guys, I don't know how many of you guys remember these, like back in comics, used to have a magazine, used to have little, little cutouts that you would just check what you want and then you mail it away. Look at the images right here. Jeez. This is awesome. It's just, it's just like these little ads, which is just so cool. I love how this looks and you can kind of see some stuff right there written at the top. So they did a lot of attention to detail on the packaging. Like I said, it's like a magazine cutout. So very cool. Let's go ahead and open these up and take a close look at the three pack. So the back of the box on the inside, you can see the three kids right there. I love the cloudy, the redness that they use in the background there. That's really awesome. But the insert has, you get the same thing with the insert. So if you want to use this for pictures, you have the insert right there as well with the same background. All right, so let's get into the accessories. So each figure, I'm not going to take these out of the packaging. They come with open hands. So each figure has a pair of open hands. Not gonna use that because I'm, ending, I'm not even gonna use those hands and I'm gonna end up losing them. Now they each come with a trick or treat bag. So you have two of them that are just brown looking bags, like paper bags, you can see there. And then you have a really cool one. Uh, this is this is like a different material. It's more of like a, like a plastic bag. And this one has trick or treat. Look at the artwork on there, very awesome. So you have that one there, and they do open up. I mean, you can actually store stuff in there. Maybe you can store the, in, the uh, interchangeable hands in there. And then you also have the television. Now, I like how they did this because you have all the knobs right there. See that? You have all the knobs. I wonder, did they actually turn? No, they don't, but you can see the knobs on there. And then it's the, uh, you know, just a regular brown TV box. Love the paint app on this. It looks great. And then it has a hole in the back in case you want to peg this on to a wall or uh, any anywhere you want. That's what I'm gonna do on mine. I'm gonna peg mine to a wall. Now this does have a lenticular, you can hear that. It's a lenticular little sticker on there. So you have the pumpkin and then you have the silver shamrock logo. It doesn't really, there you go. If you have to go, it doesn't really work side to side. You gotta go up and down to get it. But see that, very cool. The television just looks fantastic. Love this. And then you have the interchangeable head sculpts, okay? So, well, first of all, the pumpkin does come with a hat. So you can see it's almost like a witch's hat. And I'll show you guys the color on this. It's like a soft rubber material. It's got a you know peg hole there, so you can peg it on top of the head sculpt. And then the, the pumpkin, we have a kind of like a decomposed head sculpt. Now, this one's very sticky. I don't know what the heck happened here, but this is very sticky. It's probably the paint apps that they use. You can see the silver shamrock. Say that five times. Silver shamrock, silver shamrock, silver shamrock, silver shamrock, silver shamrock, silver shamrock, shit. Hell yes. So you can see the silver shamrock logo on there. 
and the great detailing. Look at this. Oh, geez, it's so nasty. Love it. You got the peg hole at the bottom. Wait, does this have a peg hole at the bottom? Yeah, it's got the peg hole at the bottom. Very cool. I love this one. This one looks just fantastic. And then you have the uh, witch one as well. This is like a, like a decomposed one here. So I'll show you guys a close-up on the head sculpt there. Looks awesome. You can see the kid's eyes in there. Very cool. And then this is like a soft rubber material for the, the hoodie. And you have the silver shamrock logo right there on the back as well. So fantastic looking head sculpt right here. Great detail. And the last one, actually this one might be my favorite. You have the skeleton with all the worms and stuff coming out. Look at this. Look at the detailing on there. Look, you can see the eyes in there too. Jeez, this looks so awesome. And then you can see like the cracks in there. And you also have the silver shamrock logo there. Dude, this is just insane. So those are all the accessories you get. Let's go ahead and bring out the characters. So these are done like in the Mego style action figures. Uh, I thought this was gonna be, when I first saw these, I thought they were uh, the regular type of action figures, but no, these are done in the Mego style action figures. So if you're not a fan of those, you might not like, like these, but either way, they still got a lot of articulation. So they're pretty articulated figures. You can see this one has like a, uh, I don't wanna say a onesie, but just like a whole black, yeah, onesie, I guess you can call it. It's got the Velcro there on the back. So you have the uh, mask, and it has a silver shamrock logo. You can see there, the happy pumpkin. Look at the eyes. Very cool. So the stem on top, you can actually peg the hat on. So if we were to do this, you can display your figure just like that. Very awesome. And then you have the tennis shoes. Look at the detailing on there. That peg holds the bottom, which I'm probably gonna use the NECA stands for on these figures, just so I can get them to stand perfect so I don't have to worry about them falling. Now, let's go ahead and interchange the head sculpt here and put this one on. Oh, geez, look at that. This is a set you're definitely gonna want two of, only because of the way you can display them. But there is the pumpkin head. Skeleton one is awesome. He's also wearing kind of like a onesie skeleton outfit. You can see the great detailing on that again it's just like a stretchy material and you have the bones for the legs you have the really cool shoes look at the detailing i like how they made them dirty too just like in the movies back in the 90s the 80s even prior to that shoes were always dirty now nowadays when you watch movies they're always like crispy clean you get the peg holes right there on the bottom of the shoes and then there's the back of the outfit. Again, it's just, I got the Velcro thing right over here if you wanna open this up. Same type of articulation as the other figure. And then this one has the skeleton mask. Oh God, this is so cool. Look at that. Jeez. And then again, you have the area here where you open the mask. And then the silver sh uh, shamrock, it's tough to say, logo there. Very cool articulation, very good articulation there. Now let's go ahead and pop this head sculpt off and place the other one on there, oh man, look at that. It's very creepy. Last but not least, we have the witch. And the cool thing about this one is the outfit that the, that the, that the person is wearing, the children, child is wearing. This part right here, the top, the cape part, this is an actual bendy wire. So you can move, you can maneuver this however you want, going over the shoulders, just like that, or get it to you know flap like towards the wind. You have all the ties that are on here, but look at this, the fabric on here, very cool. Tennis shoes at the bottom, this is a brown color. There you go, there's the bottom there. And then you have the mask, get a close up. Look how great that looks. And then again, you have the hoodie, which is like a softer material. It's attached to the, to the mask, so you can't take it off, I don't think, I'm not gonna try it. And then on the back, you have the logo as well. The outfit looks great. Again, the black and orange on this just looks super cool. Again, it's gonna be the same type of articulation for the figures. Now, if you can pop the head off on this one, and then we'll interchange. Oh, that's another thing. When you detach the head, the cape is gonna fall off too. So just be careful with that, and then we'll pop the head back on, and then there you go. Oh man, this is so cool. Look at that. So here we have all of the head sculpts. Just do a little run by on these really quick. Look how great these are. And it, like I said, I mean, they all look fantastic. The clean versions look great. The messed up versions look awesome. So this is like something you're definitely gonna want two of each of, just so you guys can display both figures. I mean, or both head sculpts, I think it would look fantastic. But there's a uh, look at the head sculpts side by side.
And there you have it, guys. There is my review. Today, we are taking a look at the brand new NECA Toys Halloween 3 Season of the Witch 3-pack. So you have the jack-o'-lantern on the left, skeleton in the middle, and the witch on the right. And it's really cool because you get a lot of great accessories. I mean, you get the interchangeable hands, which I'm not going to use. You have the interchangeable head sculpts. I mean, it's up to you if you want to buy two of these sets so you can display them both ways. Or you can do what I'm probably going to do is grab those NECA head sculpt stands and just display them right next to the figure. And you get the very awesome lenticular television. Very, very happy with this. NECA is just knocking it out of the park, as they always do. And I hope they can give us more horror figures from the Halloween franchise, which I know what they're going to be doing, and just from other franchises as well. You guys in the comments below, let me know, is it a pickup? Is it a pass? Which is your favorite of the three? Do you own this set? Let me know what you think about it overall, and what is your favorite Halloween movie? Now, I'm talking about the Halloween franchise. Let me know in the comments down below, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Thumbs up the video. We will see you soon for more reviews. Peace. Don't believe. Awesome. Let's see. Bill's gonna kill you. Subscribe. Thanks.